Hello everyone, this is Kathy Campbell and I am the Photox Helper and today I'm going to walk you through how to use all those templates that you're always seeing for sale. Maybe, you know, they're 80% off and you just have to take advantage of it. But once you get it into Photoshop, you're like, wait, what am I doing? So don't worry about that. Everyone has to learn somehow. I have a, about 15 years experience with Photoshop. I started with Photoshop 7. So I know a little bit about what we're going to do. Uh, go ahead and follow along. I'm going to show you a couple different ways to do it and also a couple different ways that uh, the uh, templates end up being set up as. So go ahead and keep watching and I will talk to you on the other end. Okay, so I have two separate templates that I'm gonna show you how to do. Bittersweet Graphics Boutique, and I'll put a link to uh, their website. Um, and then this other one is from Photo Vela. And we're gonna walk you through and we're gonna show you um, the two different ways that they have their image layers set up so that you can um, get it kind of figured out. So hopefully you'll be able to better understand. Um, so first we're going to go we're going to open the document in Photoshop. So now we're going to go up to File and Place. And we're going to choose the image that we want to do. I am going to, let's go into my gallery update because I know that that will have images that I want to put. Let's go ahead and do a couple. I'm going to choose, let's see, we'll do a wedding image. So I'm going to choose place and it's going to be placed into the document. Um, you, when you see the X across the image, you're going to know that this is ready and available to be moved around. So it's been placed on the document, but it can be moved and resized as it is. Um, to get into the spot that we're gonna want it. So we're gonna put it in this place right here. Now, because, uh, and then I'm gonna hit enter or the check mark. As soon as the X goes away, I know that that document is placed on, that image is placed on the document. Um, click the V or go to the little arrow here and you will be able to uh, move it around again and adjust it. You also wanna make sure that your show transform controls button is on. This will allow you to make sure that you can actually adjust the size of it. And now we're going to go over to the layer panel and I'm gonna move it to image six is the image that the layer is on. So if I um, hide it, I, she numbered it one, two, three, four, five, and six. You can also check by just turning off the layer and back on so you can know what it is. Um, so I'm gonna turn the image back on. And now if you right click, you're gonna see an option for create clipping mask. What this is going to do is it's gonna bind the image on the layer to the restrictions of whatever options are on the layer below it. From here, you can move it around and adjust it and it won't show outside of that layer at all. So voila, perfect. So did that make sense? I hope so. Um, you can also choose to um, open the image and copy and paste it. However, I really prefer the file place option because it won't ever be bigger than your actual document, which sometimes can be frustrating. Um, so over onto this side, she actually already has clipping masks set up. So, and she even has some instructions on it, which is really nice. Again, this is from Photo Vela. Um, so we're going to use this layer so it says select this layer, drag and drop your image. Again, I'm gonna do file place instead of having 20 images up. So we're gonna go file and place. I'm going to select my image and place it. And it's gonna be placed in the document. Now it's much too small, so we're going to make it bigger.
that works for me and click enter and now notice the black uh, the lines have gone away um, also we're going to turn this layer off so that you can see it and then again we're going to right click and create clipping mask now uh, if you have a hard time understanding the the clipping mask part of it what we can do is let's open that image um, so that you can actually we can show you how to drag and drop it because that uh, will allow you to utilize the um, actual uh, setup that it is um, So we have it opened here and you can go up to window arrange and then do two up vertical and we're going to close this one and not save it. Uh, so now we're going to go and if we do arrange, so window arrange two up vertical and we have two images open, you're going to see that you have the ability to switch back and forth between the two um, documents. So on the left hand side is the image and if you drag it and you can drop it into the new document and if we place it, we're going to resize it so it shows up how we want it. That's good enough. And then enter to set the actual docu image on the document and then turn off the layer, you're going to see that the clipping mask has been already um, like set in stone so you don't have to do it. However, again, this is a little bit more difficult. I don't like doing it that way, but that is the way that it's set up in this um, document. All right, everyone. So that is how you add your images to a template. Um, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I am here to help you guys. That's why I'm the Photogs helper. I want to help. And don't ever feel like it's a stupid question. Chances are five other people are going to have that exact same question and we're not nearly as brave as you to come at and ask. So it, ask it on this video, on the website, or on my Facebook page. I'm here to help you guys, okay? Have a great day. Bye.